Yolo! Just keep it about me and It's been a while. We're here. Yeah. It's been almost a month. This is a month, right? A Just month exactly today. About, yeah. It's yeah. been one week since I looked at you. It's uh, it's been Don't a look at me, busy Emma, month. Please. <laughs> it, it's been a busy month. It really has been. Uh, but we're here. Um, Jeez. Recap from last time. Uh, y'all were in the gated or the the intersecting town of the Valhissian Mountain Range. Uh, you searched around to try and get clues as to where Heffel went, and you caught uh, a clue that says someone saw him heading south. Um, so you all hitched a ride on a passing caravan to Fragrance Bay, and on that track, you the the cart was attacked by a group of wolves that you brutally murdered. Uh, but you I eventually really hate that you brought that up. <laughs> but you eventually made it to Fragrance Bay, and you were currently right at at the gate entering the town. And uh, would you just a reminder? Where is the gate entering town? If you could ping it, please. Uh, it it's technically if, not on here, it but it would be like it would be like that direction. Okay, yeah. okay. Just wanted to verify. This is to the east. This is the west. So it, 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 you basically came in from the western gate. Okay. No, audio bay doesn't exist here. Census joke. <laughs> Still my joke. Away? Arrived in town, the uh, the caravan said that they were they had some business here in town before they were leaving down south. Um, but they would be here for a few days, and they offered you to tag along if you so wished when they leave. We should get leads. But first, we should acquire a bit more money. Funding is good. Funding is good. It's been so long since I've been home. Uh... You live here too? Yep. Born and raised. Well, there goes the neighborhood. It was shit before I was born. Anyway, um, should we start asking around or see if they have a guild? It's been a while since I've been here. I will take your lead. I have a map of the city if y'all need it. Let us follow the locals. We're up here. I probably wouldn't be anywhere close to any law enforcement. What? What's wrong with law enforcement? They might know me, but let's just forget that. Mm, did you ah. get caught trying to cross a border? No, no. water child would be upstanding member of society. It is, of course, it must be quite, uh... <laughs> she must be quite shy to go to, to speak of all of her great escapades. <laughs> Whatever that word means. <laughs> Big word, which I do not understand. <laughs> can, can I make an insight check at her... I'm gonna say avoidance of law enforcement. Sure. I, I just want to see how bad did she fuck up. <laughs> or attempt to. Oh. It kind of just seems like she doesn't want to be around law enforcement. Don't know why, but she doesn't want to. Sus. <laughs> You're sus. Mm. To the Adventures Guild, if town has one. I think there's probably one around here. Roll a history check, you two who are locals. The old really age is getting to me. 
It's not really the area I hang out in, you know? Uh, history. Uh, you can both gleam, like, gleam, gleam back into your mind, and um, remember, there isn't really much of a guild in Fragrance Bay. It's more just a whole lot of taverns and merchants, and uh, it, it's more of a commerce city than something that would have a full-fledged guild. Mm, let's, let's check the taverns then for information. Let's come and go from there, and we could probably pick up a couple odd jobs. Pretty sure if I have a couple old people around, they won't question a 14-year-old being in the tavern. So are you heading to a tavern? Yes. Sure. <laughs> sure. Easy enough. Um, you, uh, you kind of I assume you've been kind of walking and talking, just making your yeah. way into town. Um, it's probably, you're probably near, you're only, I don't know, a mile into town or so, um, and there's a big old sign, uh, next to this building, has a, uh, like a mug on it that has foam frothing out and over the side. It's pretty clearly a bar. Or a tavern. Mm, let's head in. Uh, as you approach, you hear the sound of music playing. Um, seems the, the bar may have a bard in town, um, or the tavern may have a bard in tow, uh, doing a performance, um, but you enter in, it's pretty quiet otherwise, uh, there, you see a barmaid behind the bar, uh, just washing up some dishes, um, and they notice you come in and kind of wave to you all. My bard character seems to never ever do. <laughs> oh. mm. <laughs> Hello, have... has, has anybody seen Little Bunny Man? Um, you're gonna have to be more specific, sir. Uh, he's little. He has big ear. He he James carries Apple. around. Don't yes. Don't mind Man. him. He's a couple's. Looks short of a case. We're looking for this Harry How are gone. You? And I'm just gonna minor illusion Heffel in my palm like I've been doing. Have you seen this man? Oh. Does that look familiar to me? Sorry. Um, it's okay. We have, we have a lot of um, Harry gone that come through. Uh, but I don't recognize anyone that looks like that, sorry. It's alright, thank you, for at least... looking back. Mm. Who's the entertainment she... for tonight? Oh, just a local performer. Um, he's alright. He, he's, he's our local bard of greatness, so he calls himself, but don't mind him. But... How long he, has he been here? I believe he was born and raised here. Uh, he's only been performing with us for the past two or so years. Hmm. You see the we're talking to. You see the barmaid kind of eye up the the younger member of your party before kind of just looking away. I'm sorry for bringing a kid here. I don't know what her idea was. It's all right. I'm she's kick him in the shins. She's just not allowed to drink anything. If you, you know. look, lady, I don't want it. Believe me, I don't want it either. It's just my job to sell it. We all have things we gotta do, even if we don't want to. Yeah, like I gotta wander around with you. You don't have to, you chose to. Don't have much of a choice. Mm, debatable. Anyway, I'm I'm gonna go wander over to the bard playing and leave the other three to do whatever. <laughs> sure. <laughs> mm. Split the party! Woo! 
Just from one side of the room to the other. <laughs> yeah. And then when Apple gets into a fight over there, we don't get in trouble. So the uh, uh, the bard is currently just strumming on his uh, his lute, just playing a little um, soft melody. Um, it seems like he's mostly practicing for later tonight when the crowds start to fill, you know fill the room. Elevator yep. music. Around what time is it right now? Just out of curiosity. It's probably a little after noon. Okay. So like one to three. Yeah, somewhere around there. Okay. Well, it looks like we did not get too much information from this one. Let us try the next one. Mm. We didn't uh, ask any questions yet. We asked where the bunny was, and where the bunny was not here. So we, since our objective is to find bunny man, we will, I would assume that we would want to find bunny. Like, keep, keep getting more information about bunny man. Yeah, but the problem is that our, uh, Turtle went that way. Oh, let him enjoy the music. It is going to be... He will very much enjoy it with his with his old and possibly deaf ear. I heard that! I vote for deaf. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, he looks, seems like he is having a wonderful time over there. Look at him. I would prefer not to. Wander over and just keep up with with Romag. Okay. What are What are you doing then, Romag? Mm, it's been so long since I've been home. Who are you again? It It's been a while. I don't believe I've met you, sir. I'm. Yeah. Um, is I your name? Yeah. No, I don't. I'm sorry. I don't hang around the elderly. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'll make this quick then. Have you seen this man? And just half image. Kind of looks it up for a moment. Um, hmm. I may have seen him. I can't quite remember though. And you see his foot kind of kick a, uh, or inch his, uh, a, a small hat that's on the front of the stage closer towards you. <laughs> you know, have any a cash. <laughs> after hearing him say, I don't vibe with the elderly, can, can I just try intimidation check? Just menacing oh, turtle. Can I incite him, Sky? Sure. After, well, after Percy does what he does. Okay, Percy, roll a intimidation. <laughs> okay, uh, Percy, I set it he, up, you slammed it down. He, he kind of just continues to push the, the hat towards you. Um, I just have tell, this picture he, of like, does look like he wants trying money. to <laughs> intimidate this guy and just failing, and meanwhile, Danny's character just like raises his hood, puts it back down, and the <laughs> guy tells him everything. <laughs> well, Danny did an insight, not an intimidation. I know, but I'm like, he missed a, he missed a chance. Yeah. <laughs> Teo, you, you see, um, as he's kind of uh, watching Ramag, um, you see a bit of sweat start to come down his forehead, and you see his breathing kind of grow a bit faster, like he's trying to think really hard of something. So he's lying. Yes, you, you, it seems like he's lying. Hmm. I just... You watch, as I'm normally hunched over, you all hear the popping of spine yeah. as I stand up straight and broaden my shoulders. I reach into my pocket and I pull out just my, just my hand. I just reach over towards the hat. And Sky, I will be activating my aura. Uh, as I just drop a single copper, copper coin. Oh. What happened? What happened? Un momento, por favor. Do 
unmanned car just laughing in the background as he tried as as the turtle tries to square up. Did he say if the floors were wood? No, he didn't. No. I have a feeling that they might be, though. Sorry about that. I had an interruption. Okay. What were you doing, Danny? So I just put my hand out with a single coin in it as I just drop it, activating my aura to make it fall with the speed of a bullet. Roll intimidation at advantage. I am using my athletics as my stat. Mm -hmm. Nice. You kind of see him, like, completely focus on the, the coin that you dropped. Um, I, I think it punctured his hat. Yeah, it, it, you hear the sound of wood creaking um, before you hear something break, and then I something... The second I hear something crack, I, that's the moment I let the order go. Okay. <laughs> Brick shat. And then I just, um, I lean back down. There is no need to lie for a fortune, young one. I'm sorry. I, I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. There's a lot of the hair and gone that come through here. Um, if, you, if you're really searching for him, a lot of hair and gone come from down south. Please don't hurt me. No blood, no foul. Thank you for the information. Mm -hmm. And you see him kind of pick up the hat and his uh, his loot, and he, he just disappears behind a curtain, and you hear a door open really quickly, and then just, just slam shut, and you hear a lock closing, and another lock closing. <laughs> well, there Respectful goes the entertainment for the night. <laughs> And then I just, I, you, I just scrunch back down. Thank you for that, Teo. I got to save a couple pennies. <laughs> I only dropped a copper. And technically, isn't the copper still there? Or did he grab the copper that's probably he took the hat. wood? Yeah, he, well, he took the hat. Um, to have, and as he, as he picked it up, you saw it, that there's a clear hole in the bottom. Um, and there's a coin sitting on a piece of fabric, sitting on a slightly dented piece of wood on the stage. <laughs> Leave it there, I gave him a coin. Mm, so this was a bust. Mm, no, we now know to go south. Further south. True, but you are very uncomfortable anytime we mention going down south. You just watch as like he shivers. I will require new wrapping to go south. Mm, disguise? Mm, mm, let's go with that. We just, we, we just go into bondage. Alright, buddy, well, we'll see about getting you a new outfit. It's like you notice his hands and his legs are wrapped up in a cloth. I'm sorry, man, you are not dripping right now. I mean, hey, no shoes, just the cloth that protects his heels. And it looks like padding for if he ever has to punch something. Nomad-esque clothing. Yeah, very much nomad-esque. So what are you all doing? I don't know what. Yeah, what tin are car, tin probably. Car? The tin car leaf. No, he's here. No, I'm just oh. I'm, I'm just chilling in the back. I just watched that say, I laughed at the turtle trying to square up against the whatever the other guy was, hmm. and failing spectacularly. And then was intrigued by the the cloak man because I still don't know what's under the cloak. I do. You just watched me get a little <laughs> bit taller than you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I, I was standing back perplexed. 
And then the spine popping. Mm -hmm. Kind of smells. Kind of sounded like a tree from my homeland. <sighs> All right. I guess I'll make my way back over to the other two. Dead end. Aside from go south. Will. <clears throat> uh. Well, while we are while we are here, shall we go look around? Sorry, I can't do the don't I, ah Tunkar. Why why did your voice escape me? <laughs> You're normal Russian. Well, let us go look around then. There you go. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I've known you long enough. It's just your normal yes. Russian voice. Yes, it is very Russian. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Uh... Do you know if there's anybody in town selling continental maps? Continental maps? Um... Perhaps many of the merchants might have some, but they're not exactly commonplace. It's a pretty rare commodity to have an entire... But, well, are you looking for a map of just this half of the continent or the other half as well? Just this half. They might have something, although... Don't get my hopes depends up. On... Yeah, yeah, don't get your hopes up. Just a little hope is better than no hope at all. Let's go! Also, are there any odd jobs people have been requesting? Not recently. Um, there was a fellow who used to come in and ask about a whole bunch of strange rocks, but he stopped coming in a couple months ago. Strange rocks? Yeah, I haven't seen him in quite a while. Can you describe his appearance and or the rocks he was inquiring about? Mm, taller man, probably six-ish foot. Um, he was one of those uh, scorpion folk from down south. Um, bright red skin. Um, he... He seemed oddly well dressed for being from down there. Head is slowly turning to look at Teo. <laughs> did he did he mention anything about the rock falling from sky? No, he just said strange rocks that had some funky glow. How how's Teo looking at Ooh. hearing this? He he is not moving. He's, like, trying to think of words. I'm also trying to find notes. I know, oh, I know you have some. I have them saved, just they're a little ways up. Well, I like the idea of finding, of finding Merchant with Big Map. Shall we go to the... Did he carry a large sword? Not on him. Most of the time he seemed unarmed. Although, I believe he did have a few friends with him who carried a sword. Um, one specifically had this really... It was quite large. It was almost as tall as the man. Um, but not, none of them have come around either. Interesting. Race name. What the fuck? What? I don't have the race name saved. Also, Arkuro. What? It's Erikoi. Erikoi. Also, Erikoi. Um, one of them was the others. I believe were. She kind of shakes her head. Maybe human. I couldn't quite tell. The only one who really came in was the uh, the Iroquois man that was well-dressed. The others just stayed outside, and one would occasionally stand in the doorway. And dear. Hmm. I take the information I leave. Let's okay. go see if somebody's selling a map. 
So do you make your way to the uh, the market? Yep. Yeah. Make your okay. way downtown. Walking uh, fast. As you enter the market, it is very bustling with people. Um, there are stalls all over with various um, fruits and meat and fish and all kinds of things. Um, there are also uh, a couple beggars sitting on um, some blankets on the street, just kind of holding a hat out, um, trying to get any straight coin, uh, and plenty of a mix of people. There are well-dressed people, there are what seem more like commoners, and then uh, a plethora of guards stationed all over. I'm going to position mm. myself behind Tinker. <laughs> Your kind of town child. <laughs> just in between Tunkar and and uh Theo. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, just kind of <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm not I am a completely normal person. I don't think you classify as normal water child. Shut up, turtle man. What are what are some of like the other races that we see in the area? Because I know obviously it's kind of, it's um, kind of a, there are like with a bunch of people. Yeah, there are a lot of humans. Um, you see a few herringon here and there. Um, there are dwarves. There are a few elves, but not a ton. Um, you see a few Erikoi, but most of them seem to be lower class. Uh, you see a turtle every once in a while, um, especially once you get closer to the, like, ships and the shipyard itself. Uh, but the majority of the races are human or half-elf. Is there... Hmm, what's the best way to word this? Are there any merchants that look like they've traveled from the south to get here? Um, like stereo stereotypical southern garb. Well, it's not necessarily I'm looking based upon their appearance, more so the wares they have. Roll, oh, roll of perception. Anyone who wants to figure this out, roll of perception. Yeah. Would I be a... I mean, I guess we're all from the south. I'm not from the south. I probably will get disadvantaged. And you have a normal role. Everyone has a normal role, pretty much. History? Perception. I'm very busy with dodging the guards. Uh, Ramon and Marina, you both are, you especially, Marina, are. You are taking in everything around you because you are very aware that there are guards around and you want to know oh, boy, where yeah. they are. Um, but you both kind of, as you're scanning about, you see a human male um, with very sun-bleached skin. Um, he's wearing lighter clothing. Um, he's currently sitting behind a small little table that's set up with a few uh, knickknacks, glassware, and um, plates and other things, um, but he seems to have a more deserty appearance to him. I'll walk over. Ah, hello there. How, how can I help you? Mm, what? Out of curiosity, these eyes aren't what they used to be. <laughs> um, what you selling? Uh, just some knickknacks I picked uh, picked up down south. Would you like some? What you got? Ah, uh, well, I have this beautiful um, handcrafted vase I got from a, 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 a glass blower down south, and he he gave me this wonderful story about how he made it for his wife, and then she died of a sickness, um, and he he just couldn't bear to have it anymore, so he wanted to give it to someone who could make use of it. Mm. Depressing. Continue. <laughs> Uh, okay, I have this uh, this uh, beautiful porcelain plate here um, that is straight from uh, the great prince who used to live here thousands of millennia ago, um, who 
who loved meat. He loved it, and the flavor of the meat got imbued into this plate, and it is, and any anything served on it is just enhanced by its flavor by a thousand times. Do you have anything that is not fragile in terms of porcelain or glass? Um, hold on. And you see him rummage through a bag behind him. Uh, I have... I have this children's toy that's made out of wood. Oh. Oh. Do you okay. have any maps? Maps? Maybe. You see him go back through the bag and he's like digging really deep. Uh, oh, uh, and you see him reach in and start to pull something out. Here you go. I have this map. Um, it's really outdated, and I believe it's only. Hold a moment, so as I get a uh, name. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, it, it's just a map of flats, and it's really old, um, and there's been a lot of mess been made there in the past um, decade or so, um, but I have it. I'm sorry, you said the town of Flots? Yes. Can I, before I make a choice to spend, could I see the map first, like, the details on it? Sh sure. Um, just, you, he, you just have to verify it's what I'm looking for. He places the map down um, and unravels it. It's a very beat up piece of paper. Um, there are tears that seem to be mended with some stitches of some sort. Um, and there are what seem like burn marks from maybe holding it too close to the fire and then having to put it out. Um, but it looks to be a map of a city. It is a little beat up and hard to read in some places, but it would work as a map. No, I, I'm not all too familiar with Flots. Could you tell me a little about it? Uh, he kind of looks around at your partners. Um, I believe your friend there might know, um, at least based on his reaction. Uh, he, and he's looking straight at Teo. Uh, to, be, to be honest, Flots is quite a strange town. Um, it's... There are these weird things that happen there. A lot of floating rocks and different creatures that don't make sense, if that, if that catches your drift. Ca yep. If you catch my drift. Mm, magical. Yep. Yeah. There's quite, uh, apparently, well, I'm not supposed to say that. I'm, I'm sorry. It's fine. Um, I I'd like to beckon Teo over here. Mm. I don't move. Teo, please. I move very close, slowly. I I don't need you to do anything hostile or whatever. It's just. Take a look at this map. Y yes or no, is it reliable? I, I know you said it's old, but... Mm. Uh, can I roll a history check on the map? Sure. With age comes wisdom. And I'm assuming he didn't mention anything about... It was Flots the where I'm actually from? I can't remember no. if that's... No. That's not where you're actually from. Don't but I'm understand. from nearby. Yes. Okay, so I don't have to be as spooked. Spook him. Nope. Um, you have spent quite a bit of time in Flots to do certain things. Oh, um, yeah. And it looks pretty accurate. To what you remember, at least. Be trustable. How much for the map? Well, maps are a bit hard to come by. Understandable. Um, let's see. 
since it's just a map of France and it's not in great condition, 25 gold? How about a favor of sorts? You got anything you need done? Hmm. You kind of... And, and as I say this, I am just going to take my time to try and memorize the map to the best of my abilities. Gotcha. Um, he pulls out a journal and starts flipping through uh, pages. Um, I might have something. Mm -hmm. uh, although, it would take quite a few people. You might need to find some more help. Um, there's a large worm creature down in the sand uh, that has a very, very sought-after material that it likes to shit off. Mm. And, yeah, I mean... Still memorizing map. If you, uh, if you got me one of those materials, I'd give you a bit more than a map. Mm, how far away from here is it? Oh, it's quite a ways. I believe the last time, at least the last time I heard it was spotted, was down at the southern tip. So it's quite a few days. Can I roll to see how far that actually is? Sure. History? Yeah. Can I assist him with that? You're currently memorizing the map. Uh, right. Um, it... You haven't been down all the way to the southern tip, but knowing... Being uh, from a town down there, you know the distance between there and here is quite a ways. So it would be even farther to go all the way down to the tip. Yeah. Do you stop at the shaft or the base? Stop. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was right there. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so, where are you going to buy the map? Or would you like any of these other knickknacks? Mm, I currently cannot afford the map. For you see, us oh. elderly, we, much unlike the You're stereotype, are them. actually broke. You're on a fixed income. Let's see. Um, this well, is why I was asking if there was a favor. Offer services for item. Well, if you want to grab that um, material for me, I can write up a uh, uh, a list of all the things you need to know about it. Um, and you can get back to me if you come back alive. It's quite dangerous. Uh, That's why it it's is, very valuable. It is that hearing this, I'm just going to beckon the other two over. Do you approach? I am fixated on a boat. You see two cars just kind of hovering over a railing, inspecting the closest boat. I have darts on me. That, that is some fine mahogany. Aim for his porn. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to take a dart, not necessarily aiming to, like, hurt him, but, you know, get his attention. I'm, I'm just okay. gonna chuck a dart at him. Can you Hit the railing like a next pebble? to him? A pebble on the ground? <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay. So, do I just roll it? Yeah. Now, now, just to clarify, you're aiming for, like, the railing nearby where he's leaning against, right? Yeah. Um, okay, you hit the railing. Oh, whoa. What? What? I Get not... over here! Okay, I'm coming! As I trot over. I'm assuming... Yes, what is up? Marina, what is up? you're following? Yeah. I mean, I wandered over. Alright, so this gentleman here has a map for us. And we don't have enough money to buy it, but he has given us the opportunity to go hunt something in exchange for this map and more, you said? 
Uh, yes. If you, it, the material that you'd be hunting is at least four times what the asking price of this map is. Okay, so I don't want to make a decision for all of us. I want to put this to a vote, you know, equality, all that. Do you want to go hunt something for this? I did not mean to roll that. I apologize. So what is what is what is thing that he is asking? Big 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 enemy to get the material? Yes, big enemy. You do not need to kill it. It sh it sheds this material quite a few times. Um, it's just with its unpredictable pattern of emerging and uh, going back down into the sand, uh, it can be pretty hard to get a hold of. And on the off chance that you do encounter it, it has a very high mortality rate. I try to roll. I'm, I'm since I'm from the deserts. Can I roll to identify it from sure. the description? Sure. I, as the player, think I have an idea of what it is, but what would you like the roll to be? Uh, how about a history? It kind of peaks something that you remember hearing in your travels of a large worm-type creature that would occasionally appear in your cities, but there were um, there's been technology uh, developed to drive it off, uh, or else having the cities down the desert would not be possible. I feel like do we know what. The Color. What? Does this creature have a color to it? I'm not sure. I've never seen it in person. I've only heard stories from other merchants and passing adventurers. Um, I've heard it described as a large sandy color as well as a darker brown. Um, but that's mostly when it rains. So I think it's mostly the dirt and sand that gets caught to it. What is the fastest way to get to to get to where to get to Warham? That's a tough question. Um, you said it was at the bottom of bottom of of, of well, the continent. The, would... the last time it was seen was on the southern tip. I don't know where it is now. At least where? the last time I heard of its location was about a month ago, and they said they had heard, they hadn't seen, it was just heard, that it was spotted at the southern tip. Well, everybody, I found a very, very reliable mahogany boat that we could probably put on top. The, the map yep. is still on the table, right? Yep. Okay, I, uh, I'd like to kind of pull Marina close. Mm. Why are you touching me? You have dark vision, right? Yeah. We may want to steal this. Yeah. Just, just be ready, just in case. You sound different when you're whispering. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mag just gets like twenty years younger when he's in a whisper. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> you damn kids. You damn kids. <laughs> I'll go get you, you damn kids. <laughs> okay. Well then, um, we'll look into it. Now, Sky, mm -hmm. you said if we remember hard enough, we can see where those uh, pillars of lights were. Yeah, if you focus your vision on it, 
um, you you can see that view you saw from your dream. There was a an overworld view, essentially, of the continent. The only thing you can make out, really, is the pillars. Hmm. It's like you're looking at, like, a just the shape of the continent, and you can see the blue pillars coming from the ground. Now, if someone were to concentrate a lot harder on that, could they attempt to see said pillars from a first-person perspective, from their current position? I... N you don't know. You haven't tried it. <laughs> I think I would like to try it. Okay, roll. Um, you know, it just... You, you, you begin to focus, and you you just try and drown out everything around you, and you, you close your eyes and just focus on it extremely hard. Um, can you roll a constitution check for me? Oh boy. Check, not saving throw. Come you, on! Oh, you, you try to focus, and as you're focusing, the merchant pipes up, so are are you gonna do the job? Or are you gonna buy the the map or what? I I have other customers waiting. Look around. There are no other customers. It seems everyone's just kind of going around you all. I am. I I have my eyes closed while I'm doing this. I'm I, just gonna try and make it sound like I have fallen asleep. Roll a deception check. Check. While all this is happening, I'm trying to sneak back to the, to look at the boat. You're you're kind of making snoring noises, but occasionally your eye just kind of twitches open, and then you, you it darts around before closing again. Is your is your friend okay? I don't know. He's old. Fair enough. Are you casting darkness? Yes. Okay, um, is that a saving throw, or is it just your darkness? It's, it's a just, ring of darkness. It's just right. the darkness spell. Uh, I, I would imagine that that would put a pretty big target on us, though, because the, we're right in the middle of a flipping... I, the, I entire should... party, <laughs> okay. the, the entire party is suddenly filled. It, it, your vision is just gone. You can still hear things, and you hear people, like, a, a ruckus starting, and you hear people yelling, um, but you cannot see anything. Ah, who turned out the lights? I can, well, um, What's going on? I, can, huh? I can see because I have, because I can see in magical, in magical darkness. Yes. Ah. What? What happened? What? You very easily grab it. Where? Huh? huh? Guards! Guards! And you what? start to hear a lot of rushing um, and huh? footsteps all around you all. I would like to use my knowledge of the city to get at least myself out of danger. Uh, okay. Try to, like, slip away into some place that's, you know, hidden. Right. Um, on the edge of the darkness, you can kind of, uh, it, it ends right near, um, like, one of the, uh, essentially one of these, just straight between two stalls, and you can easily slip through into the crowd on the other side. Um, they're all kind of, uh, wondering what's going on across the way. So is Tooncar and presumably Teo, because we have, we, we yeah, are you, not in on this. Yeah, you are both just, you, you are both just blind. Um, I, I do put in my aura, so if anyone enters it, I know they're there. Right. You can, you can sense that people are there, but you cannot see them. The echo location. I just, uh, kind of panic. I'm like, oh, huh, where's the mahogany? And then you run forward. You hear a few splashes as people seem to have fallen over the railing into the water. Including me, probably, because I ran forward. Uh. <laughs> Roll an acrobatics. <laughs> As you're running forward, you suddenly smash into the railing, and you start to tumble forward, but you catch yourself, and you, you latch onto it. Oh, my knee! 
<laughs> yeah, essentially. You just ram your knee really hard into a post. <laughs> Is it still dark? Like, as I'm I, dangling? Like, I just... You, well, you're not dangling. You, you kind of, like, at, you are going over, but you cut yourself and push yourself back. Oh, okay. Uh, you're you're kind of just standing there, it, gripped onto it. I, I know it's, after... it's a 15-foot radius, so... Right. I don't know how, how far we were away from the... You, you were you guys were like right here -ish. so it, it's okay. after a decent amount of chaos has passed um i'm gonna drop the darkness without making it seem like it originated from me okay uh, um the darkness drops you see a bunch of people who have tripped and fallen over on each other uh you see a bunch of angry people yelling at each other and yelling at the guards uh, you see a group of um, two elves and two dwarves that are currently, like, arguing over something, and then, um, as, it, like, right as the darkness disappeared, they, they kind of look around before darting off somewhere. Um, see me on the ground, yeah. Peter Griffin style. Yeah, <laughs> Jim, Jim uh, is just grabbing his knee. Um, uh, and can I have everyone roll a perception check that isn't on the ground currently grabbing their knee. Does that include me? Uh, no. Yeah. So, Danny, you too. Mog and Teo. Uh, you both notice that Marina is gone. And so is the map. I am not gonna say anything about this. Just, what happened? You, you see a bunch of guards come up. Uh, excuse me, do, do any, did any of you see who did this? No! They, they begin to spread out. Find them. They need to be captured. Can, can I help the people that are in the water? Uh, yeah, you, the people who are in the water, they, they gained their sight back as they fell in. Um, but they're, they're kind of just splashing there, trying to get to the dock. It's just like, I'm, I can go in and just sort of help them get to the dock a lot faster. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm just gonna do. Screen cut in the background is just killing me. Just. <sighs> I'm turning that into a gif in as a note. My leg! My leg! <laughs> my leg! Yeah. Alright. What would you all like to do now? Uh, you see the, the merchant you were talking to just speaking to a guard, giving his report of what was happening. You can kind of see, like, Tio is just, he's taking a step like he doesn't know what happened. He's half sure if he can even see straight at the moment. Oh, I am fine. What are you doing? What are all you doing in the water down there? They like fell in the because somebody cast a darkness spell or something. Okay. Um, I'll jump in, and then halfway down realize that I'm from the mountains and can't swim. You As you hit the water, you start to slowly sink. <laughs> After helping the people, I'm gonna help Toonkar. Roll a strength check. Are you trying give to give him make advantage? Your way? Okay. <laughs> you you grab him and you start to bring him to the surface. Yes. <laughs> Link. You Thank you. Thank you. You really need to read more. You also need to learn how to swim. It is it is first so it is second big body of water that I am that I am used to and. I did not learn to swim in the first one. Was the first one a bathtub? A little bit bigger than bathtub, but... Look at me, I'm in a, I am Minotaur. You think we take bath? Yes! Oh, nice swim. Oh. Mm, anyway, let's regroup and start heading out, I guess. I'm not sure if there's any other information we can get from here. We must we must help the guards to to find who ca who caused the chaos. It could be a, an evil person. No, do you we not, don't do you not need agree to help Teo? them. 
feel? Do you not do you not agree? It he was, just looks very confused at the moment. It was very a heinous hack. He he's extremely dazed. Come on, Tail, let's go find our last member. So I feel I can see him grab my shoulder through like my aura. I just I like follow gently. Making sure to just like Oh, I'm dodging people, even though I'm blind at the moment. It, basically, leading a blind person, just hold their hand. Come on. Where are you all going? Uh, I'm going to the guards to try and help them with their hunt. Okay. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Toon Car's a narc. <laughs> Five oh, we gotta go! <laughs> um... For now, I'm just going to head back towards the tavern we were at earlier and sort of just try and help Teo get his sight back. Yeah, I'm going to... I think I'm probably going to, like, make my way back towards that tavern as well. Okay. Like, uh, For a while, I get you're, good. I it's just... Going through back alleys and stuff, Maria. Okay. Uh, you, you're keeping your eye out as you're going through, and you do eventually see... Teo being led on by Ramog towards the tavern. Yeah. Well, that Sorry. went well. The tune car. You're yeah. talking to guard. What? Which way did you see him go? We didn't see anyone go. It, it was just darkness, and then there was nothing. Uh, I believe. Uh, my friend, uh, or my companion here, sorry, um, took uh, took note from one of the shopkeepers that said some of their inventory went missing. Um, but that's the only hint we have. What went missing? Uh, I believe he said it was a map of some kind. Uh, he didn't state where or what the map was based on. Hmm. This would be a lot more helpful if I could read. To understand what, to, to know what you are talking about. Probably. Um, just leave it to us. We'll have it all handled, and the, the peace in the city will return soon. Uh, are, you, just... are you are you sure? Because I am very yes, skilled, very strong. I, I am. I am certain, sir. You just just return to your home, and everything will be okay. All right. What is your badge now? Oh um. <laughs> uh, he kind of looks to his partner. Why do you need to know that, sir? No reason. I was just curious. All right. I will see you. I will see you later around. Hopefully, you find the the darkness in the, the the darkness center. Sure thing. He kind of looks to his partner. Have Keep a good day. Keep good. Have a good day. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. It's right, have a beautiful time. <laughs> I'm sorry. What did they say? Uh, he's, he yeah. He whispered. Keep tracks of them to his partner. <laughs> As I walk back towards our town. Okay. Uh, so you all meet up outside the tavern. Um, the tavern is now, it's a few hours later now, probably five or six. Um, the tavern is a bit more active. You hear music coming from the inside again. Um, you hear talking, and you hear some sort of action, bustling something going on inside. If that bard came back. Anyway. Put inside. Um. You know what? Yeah, I think I'll head inside. Is the party following? Yeah, I'm being led. Mm. I, I think it's at this point you would probably have your sight back, wouldn't you? Because a few hours later, right? Yeah, well, it took, you were there, like, searching through the market for, like, half an hour. It took you about half an hour to get there. Um, it, it's been a, a there, yeah. yes, it's okay. been a few hours. Okay. So, okay. Just to make it easier. Yes, let us go inside, what? You, can you see, what? Tao? You good? I think I good. What All happened? Right. Uh, oh, somebody blinded the whole entire, um, shopping area. You just, you just see him twitching. You okay? 
Just, he crunches up like he's trying to get really small. Mm, all right. Okay, Scorpy. Scorpy, he's just a sheet man. There's just a bunch of clicking noises at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Rattle up, has, boys. A, a sheep that does tap dancing, apparently. As you all walk in, you um, you notice there's a few tables with some people on them. Uh, a group of people are currently just chatting at a table in the far back. And then you see um, Ramag and Teo. You both recognize there's a group of four people standing in the middle of the room. There seems to be arguing. There are two elves and two dwarves, and they are very drunk. Um, but they are currently yelling at each other, and everyone's kind of just watching it happen, um, ex expecting something to happen. Okay, it... I'm going to ask a question, and I want no judgment for this. All right? What are their genders? They're all male. Okay. Okay, good. Good. Um, is there an open table in the secluded area? Uh, you do not see any. But as, as you, like, you all step in, um, the sound of the door kind of creaks. It seems the door needs a bit of grease. Um, but the, the four people who are arguing all look at the party enter. Is the music still going on? <laughs> yeah. Um, it seems the the bard seems to be accompanied by a few others, and they're all just uh, picking up the pace, and it's kind of an upbeat tune. Uh, and the one of the drunk dwarves looks at uh, at you all before speaking. Um, what are you all doing here? Mm. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm having fun. Who says we're not here for the same thing? Oh, yeah, you wanna have fun. Yeah. All right, put him up. He puts his fists up. Come on, let's have fun. Oh, bring it on, pussy! And you see the the three other drug people behind him follow suit, and they all put their hip fists up and start moving towards you. Sky. Yep. Before the fight starts, can I try something? Sure. <laughs> Just stand up completely straight again. This time I'm pop. I can't pop my back again, but I can at least make the joints of my tail pop. Are you trying to intimidate? It's, yeah, getting full sized. Okay, roll an intimidation. Like, and like I... these guys don't want to catch the smoke. <laughs> you don't want like this to... smoke. I... Okay, I guess I don't need to, but I I also wanted to to square up as well next. Okay. Uh, they all kind of look at you. <laughs> uh, that's that's funny. <laughs> Fear <laughs> doesn't work out of them. They're drunk. <laughs> uh, come on, you two, put them up. They are still moving closer. Mm, you guys, this go find have to the say table. The words, guy. I do. Yeah, I think yeah, I'm, all, I'm finding all right. a table and I'm getting away from yeah, the any, shenanigans. Anyone who wishes to participate, go ahead and roll initiative. Dear God, there's this part of me that's like, I feel like I should be part of this, but at the same time, like, on, bro. this is dumb. <laughs> no. on, bro. I cannot click my I don't my think token. they would let me leave. So I will roll. Oh, I know why, because they're on the map layer. Oh. You're gonna have to roll again. Really? No. Nope. Turn order right. The twenty-two counted. Oh, it did. Yeah, yeah, but I, I had an eight. All right. Okay. And uh, Don, are you taking part? I'm He's not sure. Not. <laughs> I feel like I feel like um Marina would like. Refuse, <laughs> which is a good thing because as soon as somebody realizes that we have magic, especially somebody who might be following us, 
might place the blame somewhere. True, true. <laughs> also, as someone who is trying to avoid local law enforcement, getting caught up in a tavern brawl may not be the wisest true, decision. True, <laughs> indeed. But we're I'm here. I'm going to find a chair and I'm going to just sit this thing out. I like how. Can I, like I, how can like, I just like sidle up to the bar or something like that and just be like, I'm not with these guys? Aren't you 15? <laughs> can I have a glass of 14. juice, please? 14. We're 14 over You're here. 14 at the bar. Cool. Uh, it, well, it's it's the same. It's the it's same. Like the table, you know. It, oh, yeah, it's the same weird. barmaid, and she knows. Like she, she just kind of nods. Yeah, they do this sometimes. <laughs> Bunch of idiots, you know. Yeah, it happens. Men. Yeah. They don't think with their, you know, actual brain. Rumog, what's your dex? Uh, 14, so 2. Okay. <laughs> Drunkens! The drunkens. <laughs> Drunken okay. disorderly, or as I like to call it, Tuesday. <laughs> they all go before you. Uh, you see the, the two dwarves... Oh, these are not... They're not on the token layer. I need to make, make, fix that. Set! To stun, boys! We're not here to kill people! Uh, you see this dwarf uh, pull up towards you. <laughs> let's, let's go, total man. <laughs> Does a 22 hit you? Yes. Uh, uh wait. Wait, I'm waiting. waiting. Uh I'm checking one thing quick. I th I don't know if he's in range for me or not. He's ten feet of you. He needs me five. So I'm taking that nine damage. I believe so. Yeah, yeah you're good. All right. Oh, and uh, Boppy de Boopy. One point of piercing damage in retaliation. Cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. you're spiky, aren't you? <laughs> mm, I'm not into butt stuff, bucko. Who said that? You. Uh, oh. Okay. And you see him pull his fist back for another as he uses his flurry of blows to attack again. Oh, Pucky, a monk! Yeah. Yeah! Miss. Did you not notice? <laughs> but, and you see him kind of twist and turn and start to move backwards a bit. Ah. Uh... It's, it's it's a drunk fighting monk. And you, see, drunk master. you, you see the next one come in. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Damage. Yep. That all you got, bud? <laughs> he just stands there. Um, the other two moving closer, but they don't fight yet. Come on, you come on, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> That's the end of the turn. Dry grams. Miss. Mm, four palms. Hits. <laughs> Miss. Yep. That it. Ah, <laughs> 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 Is that your turn? Yes. Two cards. All right. Well, I will move here and uh, do a do a good old horn bash with him. Horn bash on him. Okay. That hits. Oh shit! That hits. And then I will, and then that uh, also knocks him back ten feet. Whoa. 
unless he unless he makes an A plus proficiency plus strength mod plus strength uh saving throw. So basically, he has to beat no. spell no. save DC. Yeah, you don't have to do the eight plus. Just just look at spells. It's, but it's but it's but it's, but it's strength mod. It's strength instead of whatever the other one is. Yeah. You can call in your spell DC. Yeah, you what, can say it's what strength. What causes it, it calculates against. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, he well, he's pushed back. Um, he, he his boots just kind of slide against the ground, making a squeaking noise. Whoa, that would hurt. Ooh, and you see him kind of shake out. <laughs> that was that was the real one. Take your turn. Uh, uh, I'll also, um, actually, maybe I shouldn't do that. It might make me out to be magic. No, thank you. Then I think, yeah, that's pretty much it. You see all the bar patrons are now kind of just uh, clapping, like encouraging the fight. Like, it, is, it seems like this is a common occurrence among these four. Mm, taking bets! Tail. I like just, how your name is still Phil on the turn order. Just, <laughs> Phil? Just quickly uh, get around. And okay. I'm going to do attempt to restrain. Okay. Uh, I don't remember. Do I need to... What do I need to roll for that? Inflicting athletics or uh, acrobatics. I win. Right now the bar is a bunch of people going, fight, fight, fight. I restrain fight, him. Fight. Yep, he currently has his, his hands behind his back, and he's kind of just trying to shake you off. Let go of the tickles. And uh, that's my action. Reaction, he just hears a bunch of clicking. <laughs> if you're funny. <laughs> you're rattling his bones. Why do grown-ups drink anyway? I I don't understand it. They apparently these folk have some at home issues that they like to sort out with violence. Not a great out, not a great output, you know. Uh, it's now their turn again. The one who is being held will try and escape, which is just acrobatics or athletics, right? Be another conflicting acrobatics or athletics check. Wiggles his way out. <sighs> Look, that takes his out. action. <sighs> I was so tired. Yeah. It, it, he he kind of stumbles back a bit. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, and he puts his guard back up, but he's that's his turn. Um, then you see the dwarf next to him. Uh, look over. <laughs> you got captured. Yeah. And then I'll run down back to the turtle. Come on, round two. Miss. 16 hit? He, he just kind of slides off your, your shell. Oh, <laughs> too slippery. You been in the water today? No, I've been in your mom! <sighs> oh, dear God. You see the drunkenness so, kind of stop from him for a second as he stares into your eyes. <laughs> So, so, what did you mom. just say about my mother? She's a lovely woman. You should see her more. She misses you. <laughs> and um, so this tr triggers my sentinel ability. So I'll because he made an uh, unarmed since he made an oh, attack Christ, against somebody you else. Have sentinel, right. I will <laughs> make a I'll make a swing against him. Okay. Um, I forgot you had sentinel. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, and you just a little bit. Okay. Oh, that's no! Nice. <laughs> that is. Uh, you, he, he's just kind of taken aback. In between, uh, he, he, he was like deeply thinking about what Rabog said for a moment before he's just suddenly struck with the hammer. Well, not no, hammer. It's, it's my horns. Or, or your horns. Just... Yeah. It, it's but just... since it's not. Since it's not my turn, I can't. I can't make right. it go back. Like, go back. But 
Like, you, you caught him as he was distracted. <laughs> he's, he's like, oh, you're joking. That's a, that's a mean tactic. I thought you were serious. I, I am serious. Bonda. I should go see Mon. Yes, you should. <laughs> Uh, and then the next elf comes out to you, Tunkar. I want to turn. Does 17 hit you? Yes. Why does this one look like a monkey? It's a dwarf. I know, but it looks like he has a tail thanks to the floorboard. So he looks like a monkey. And he he kind of oh. he, he shakes his hand after hitting you. You got this a guy. tough body. Yeah. This is the same floor as your bedroom. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> nice. He he kind of shakes his hand after he hit you. You got a tough body, man. But let me hit it again. And he pulls back and flare blows for a second attack. That's two points. This is a different pre pull. Ah, uh, right. Yep, that, uh. As you hit him, or as he hits you, you hear his, like, fingers crack, and, like, he popped his knuckles on you. Ooh, this has been real fun. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then the dwarf kind of just, he looks, the, the dwarf in the back kind of looks around after he got assaulted and pushed back. <laughs> Y'all need business. Okay. Uh, he comes over here behind Teo. And uh, he will punch you. That's the wrong one, but it's the same stat either way. Now, let me ask, is he flanking? Yes. Okay. Because on our end, it doesn't look like it. Oh. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah. the token oh I'm being attacked. Here. Yes, you are. Does 23 hit you? Uh, yeah, it does. How does he strike me? Um, he kind of just punches into the cloak. He he's hitting me from behind. Yeah. Oh, he feels the hardened carapace. He just he punches in, and it, it just the sound reverberates after he punches it, and he pulls back and just shakes off his hand. <sighs> you got a metal door in there, man? What the God? I want to hit it again. That's the game's turn. <laughs> Mark. Do this so I'm flanking. Let's try this again. Does the 18 hit out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Is the dwarf? Yes, against this boy right here. Gotcha. And. You get a lot of attacks, my guy. Jeez. Oh. You just beat him with your staff. And everyone in the room kind of just goes quiet and watches as you, you you're just hitting him over and over and over, <laughs> and and he 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 goes limp for a moment, uh, before just laughing. <laughs> Ow! Respect I I your elders. I think you got him. I think I need to go to the doctor. I think you got him. <laughs> By the way, thirty damage. Quick. Oh. Marina's just sitting there with a glass of water watching this. <laughs> um, alright. Dude car. Um, so, so, is, so this guy right, right, so, so, so this guy is not, he, he's not, he's not conscious. Bro, he, he's kind of, he's just, he's conscious, he's, he's just, vibing. he's, he, he he's like grabbing onto his side and kind of just he it seems like he has lost interest in fighting. Okay. But he is he is still conscious. He requires medical attention. Okay. 
will. Uh, so I, I'll I'll say to the other person, uh, to to the other guy who who took interest in fighting me, basically, like, ah yes, I will punch you back too, ha ha ha, and then he kind of swing at him, um, with with my horns because I don't realize that I can use my fist still. That is a violent Crap. die. It's because Tristan doesn't have the auto roll. He rolls it manually. Yeah. So he gets the roll. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. so I'll do... And then yeah. um, I'll be uh, hammering my horn. Okay. And to, so he's got to make strength. Uh, right, strength. Uh... Uh... Yeah, be... Get knocked back down. Uh, he he kind of looks at you. That's a neat trick. Ow. Okay. And that's everything. Danny. Okay. Danny, you have a lot of HP. Yeah. Um, how much did I take earlier? Six. Six. As opposed. Uh, Looking at the guy who hit me, I just turn around. You want to go? I turn back and just out of the blue. Country blue? Oh. Okay, that hits. Just directly into his gut. That's it. Non-lethal. Right. Wait, we're using weapons now? Well, as you, you kind of... I assume this is under your cloak and you're just kind of pushing it into him, right? Basically, I just I have it in my hand and I'm jabbing him in the gut with the pommel. <laughs> he, he just lets out a... <laughs> Oh, is he still standing? Uh, he's still standing, but he. Oh, I think I'm gonna throw up. And you see him turn around and just vomit up uh, alcohol and whatever food he's eating today. The the crowd just visibly recoils. Yeah, just everyone. <laughs> ooh. Just looking at only one attack. Um. Better off than in, I always say. Does he go down? Um, he seems to have lost interest. He is currently so he's tapping throwing out. up his guts. Yeah, he's throwing up his guts right now. I just go here and I, I turn on the aura with my bonus action. Alright. Two left. Does that, does that require a saving throw? No, crazy? only if I tell him to do something. Right. <laughs> You two are a little too close. Come, come on, just let me let me have a break, man. Uh, and he, he punches at you, Toro. Ooh! He, he hits. Um, Sky? Yeah. I will be using two points. What does that do? I don't remember. Gives him disadvantage. Okay, does a 17 hit you? <laughs> it just meets. Okay, then he takes six damage. Six? Cool. Yeah. And Danny uses two points of whatever he did. Yes, he uses two <laughs> points. Uh, Are you faring over there, Tortal? I'm Can doing see your fine! <laughs> you, okay. see, you see him, like, reel back again, ready to uh, hit you with an uppercut after he... Um, hit, like, he, he essentially jabbed you and then pulled back and went straight into an uppercut with his flurry of blows. Is it this way? Who's no. doing that? It's okay, the guy no, it's this guy. Okay. Out. Gotcha. Yeah. This guy between us has tapped out. Gotcha. Hit. Too bad. And you see him kind of just, like, you know, it almost looks like he's falling, but you can see that he's, like, moving backward. Oh, hey, buddy. You cannot do that. Why not? Be because of the drunken technique fe feature of the way of the drunken master. Damn. 
if I were there, I could use it, but... <laughs> Technically, yes, because you're but, a sentinel. Yeah, but... So he, he just kind of backs up to make some space. Yeah, and he, he's looking around, seeing the two dwarves down. Now, why, are we, why are we picking on the short people? I knew, oh, I knew you guys were the, the, I knew you guys were the weakest. <laughs> and he looks back to the table here with two people. Give him a stick. And you see one of them reach down into a bag and pull out a quarter staff and throw it over to the to the elf. And he grabs it and has it in his hands. So. Okay, now I'm ready. Or... Uh, this one. The one that was just fighting him. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, and then uh, this one here um, moves in towards you, Tunkar, again. <laughs> Round two, let's go. Let's go, big man. Hold him up the mitts, baby. Let's go, big man. What the fuck yeah. is up with your 20s? Oh, it's fine. Mid damage. Only, only, only. It's a double one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good god. What fucking four? And that's the end of his turn. Vermont. There is a... On the floor, just holding his stomach in pain. Next to you, there's the one that has a staff now. There's the one that's vomiting. And then there's the one who just hit Tunkar. Now, I'm gonna be honest here. I only have 7 HP left. <laughs> huh. So, uh... Hmm. I can... S I'm gonna... Okay. Twenty feet. I'm gonna move behind this man. One. Yeah. Two. Yeah. And three. Oh wait, that's that's an action. I thought it was a bonus action. Shit. Hey. You know what? Well, since that failed, uh, three. Hit. You just hit him three times, and at, at, as you hit that last one, you hit him right in the stomach, and he just drops the staff, and he kind of sits there for a moment. Ow. You don't have to hit so fucking hard, man. Oh. And he, he just kind of slumps and sits on the ground. He, he slump. Ow. And he kind of just falls over and you hear... He, he's he's left. Uh... Oh, he had I not can... been hit, by the way. I can make it. Tinker. Uh, well, now I can't push him back anymore. <laughs> I do have advantage on attacking. I do have advantage on attacking, and that I will. I will attempt. Ah, oh, round two, you say? <laughs> and I kind of do the thing. That is. And then I uh, will use Action Surge. Okay. And do... Maybe. That hits. Yeah. Yes, bro. Nine. Sixteen. Ha -ha! He, you, you just hit him hard. Like, you, you essentially, like, swipe him to the left with your horns before pulling back in, like, a circle eight motion and then hitting him again across the head. And he, he like, shakes for a moment. Ow. Oh, are, you, are, you, are you good? Are you no, okay? I are, can, you, I, are we done? I can, I can, I can still go on. Oh, just, yeah, that's what I like to I hear. Just, I just might need an aspirin. Oh, I got some, we got some healing. We can after the fight, I'll, I'll get you, buddy. Ha ha ha. 
best friend in the Middle Ages. No. No, you do not know what he was talking about. I, I literally have a potion of healing. <laughs> Don't use it on him. <laughs> Sky, I just pick up this last one by his head. Okay. I'm rolling an, a grapple check. Are you close enough to that? Yeah, he's yeah. close enough. Oh, he's the only one left? Yeah, this yeah, man the, right here is the this, only one the, left. The elf. Okay. I, yeah, okay. As you try and grab him, he just kind of swerves out of the way. No, we gotta play fair. No grabbing. Stop that. Yeah, I'm in range at least. Is that your turn? Yep. He just kind of looks around. I can take you all on. <laughs> and he looks like he is going in to attack Tunkar before he pulls his arm back and elbows uh, into the turtle. Imagine him just like Ryu from Street Fighter, just like like spin kicking. Sky? I, yes. I would like to inform you of one of my traits. Oh, uh, yeah? I think I took the right one. Never mind, that's ranged just... attacks. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's ranged. Uh, okay. You take... So. 19 hits you, right? Yeah. Take it I am down. He, he just like elbows you right in the side of the head as you, your head kind of rings before you kind of fall over. And then that, that noise you were trying to imitate earlier where you like were faking be asleep, now you're really asleep. You're just passed out. Hey, what is the big idea? This was supposed to be a 1-1-1 one, one, one fight. And then I kind of punch him again with my horns. Well, it's not the end of his turn. Well, whenever you make a successful attack... Oh, oh, right, right, because you're... I get to... <laughs> Sentinel, maybe. Not... That oh, was... no, yes, yes. But, uh, but I'm no. uh, flanking. But I'm unconscious. No, but, but, uh, what's his face is there? No. It has to be a diagonal. Well, I guess... Oh, it, it has it's, to be a diagonal? It, yeah, it's kind of weird because oh, no. their tokens aren't exactly correct. Mm -hmm. um, but he's technically... You are technically not in flanking. You're kind of on the same oh, side. Okay. Um, you'd be flanking with the turtle, but not with Teo. Oh, by the way, um, mm -hmm. don't know if I can still use okay. that. Uh, when you were hit, you could. Yeah. So before I pass out, it's just reaction. How? Got paper cut. Okay, and then he, he kind of pulls himself back together and uses the uh, last four of your blows. Okay, give me one, give it, give me a moment. And he kind of shuffles around over here, and he comes over and he picks up the quarter staff that the guy had dropped. And I got to use it at least once. And he comes to Tio and he pulls it back, and it it looks like he's holding a bat, and he swings it towards what would be the back of your head. It goes, it, it completely misses, he spins around in a circle, and then ends up hitting himself with it, and he falls to the ground. <laughs> well, Combat it got over. used, good job, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I take out my healing potion, just like I said I would. As you're doing that, the, a few, um, paramedics, or what would be paramedics, so a few clerics come in, and they're like, so they're back at it again, and the, uh, the, um, barkeep, yep, yeah, it's the third time this week, it just don't stop. Thank you for being on call. And the clerics, yep, whatever. And they, they take the, the four and just kind of drag them off outside. Ha ha ha, you guys, good, good fight. I hope to see you again next week. We probably we may not be here next week. Who knows? Oh, well, man. that's that's the first time they've been beaten in a while. They might not do that anymore. I, also, I think your your friend there is um he he oh. got hit pretty hard. Yeah, that's it. But he got hit pretty hard. <laughs> hey, he's 
probably fine. What does everybody spend your land for? Let us party! <laughs> okay. I got I go over to the bar and start dancing to the tunes. <laughs> the first thought jig. I had was just tune yes. car crumping. <laughs> It's like the, the gif of Marge trying to grow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's that's what that's what Toon Car's doing, so Marina just Where, wherever the wire growing up so uh, weird. Uh, where, where's the bard? Which which corner is he in? Uh it's like over here to the right of the door. Uh you notice it's the it's the same bard from before and he's been heavily eyeing up the 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 cloak. Well, I'm I'm just dancing over here, like I'm dancing with myself. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm super excited about the the bar fight. I got uh, the, it. Hang on, I think I got this. The the barmaid comes over to you, Marina. Now that that's over, would you like like a water or something, sweetie? Yeah, water would be fine. Okay, I'll we'll get that for you real quick. She goes behind and comes back out with a cup of water. Thank you. I don't need alcohol to be entertained like grown-ups do. <laughs> Nothing against your profession. No, it's it, it's just money. I don't... <laughs> Listen, yep, that's exactly what you're doing. Have, <laughs> I have to deal with people like them, so it makes me not want to drink, you know? So, don't worry about it. <laughs> what are you all doing other than dancing? <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm currently doing what Marge is doing in the off topic chat, uh, over near the <laughs> barn. It's just like really bad. It's I, I bet it's just like like really like kind of like a it's it's like an upbeat tune, but it definitely doesn't go along with the beat at all. Yeah, yeah, like you're, you're... he is not he does not have any rhythm. Yeah, no. yeah, tune car does not have any rhythm. <laughs> there's like a five foot. There's probably like a five foot circle all around me where just people are just not there, just in case if I accidentally hit them. Yeah, people are just kind of they're they're like kind of vibing with you, but they don't want to get too close. Yeah, this, like, yeah. Vaguely reminded of this video that I watched like last night about this guy that like was deaf and um like figured out like you know he could hear the bass and the music and everything so like he'd have his mom like turn up the radio and everything with the bass so he could like feel the music and like one time like was just like alone in the car and just like turns the radio on just like vibing with the bass and everything and it turned out he was vibing to NPR <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like not really a beat there dude <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Having a good that's time. What Car's doing. That's exactly what uh, Toon Car's doing. <laughs> the turtle's asleep on the floor currently. What are you doing, Dave? Can I can I like try and go pick up the turtle and try to dance with him? <laughs> Sure, you want to fry, uh, five nights at birdies? Yeah. Okay. You, you, yeah. Do you, I need to do a strength check? You know, you're pretty Which strong. Weekend you, at Bernie's. That's what it is. Yep. <laughs> I could buy five, five nights at Bernie's. Oh my god, <laughs> Sky! I am oh, disappointed no. in you. Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah, let's I, five nights at Freddy's. This you gonna scoop me, bro? I think that's the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> That's the yeah, worst scoop them out. We're gonna have we're gonna have stew in a shell. Five, five nights at Bernie's is the title. Five uh, nights at Bernie's. Bernie. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, gonna right. puppeteer him and then kill him. Yeah, you, you can. He is limp, so you can you can pick him up and just kind of dance with him. Mm, yes, yeah. Ramog is now a construct. Yes. Animatronic <laughs> we'll we'll... boomer turtle. <laughs> the turtle is a lot more bearable when he's passed out. Yeah, he's, oh, yeah. There's, there's no struggle oh, at yeah. all. I'm just like kind of throwing him up in the air every once in a while. and He's so much easier to live with when he's <laughs> not conscious. 
you, you, you two are, dan- you know, dancing hand in hand. You are, you are going in. <laughs> we, we, yes, I am drunk. an amazing dancer when I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> me, on the other hand, let I'm me not. show you how it's done. <laughs> okay, what, am I, what am I performing? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> actually, oh! Once, once you once you picked up her mug, you're dancing a lot better. Apparently, he's light on his hooves. Do you have hooves? Yes, yes, I do. There you go. <laughs> so what's uh? Two and Marina doing. I'm just drinking water and watching all this stuff go mm-hmm. down. <laughs> like, <laughs> can't pay for this kind of entertainment. <laughs> Some people you'd have to go someplace really swanky to get entertainment this good. <laughs> watching your friends get beat up, watching idiots dancing together. True. Hey, Teo, do not miss out on the fun. Come, come dance. Come dance with us. You can dance if you want to. (laughs) I don't think he likes to dance. He doesn't seem like a dance person. I I feel like Teo would be a great, a great break dancer. Uh, You, you begin to feel the air around you, like, just going really fast against you. And you, your eyes begin to open as you see Tooncar tossing you up in the air and then catching you, <laughs> and then tossing you back up in the air and then Dude. catching you. And he's he's got you in like a princess carry right now. This guy, are yeah. you telling me I wake up with one hit point? Yes. <laughs> Upon waking up, the next time he throws me up, down, set. <laughs> Hike. I don't, and I don't. Do, would I have a chance to dodge this? Because I can no. obviously you, see you, him coming. Well, you're you're kind of like you were dancing with him because he was unconscious, and you oh. you you essentially were just doing it like automatically, like you were putting on a show. And as you're looking up, about to catch him, you see the quarterstaff about to smack into you. What? I thought the quarter staff was on the ground. I did not pick him up with the quarter staff. And he can fit a lot in the shelf. Oh, the second quarter staff out of shelf. Okay. Then so this folds up. Take twelve. So yeah, it's it's like one of those uh, straws that condenses, and then you you just hit it and it <laughs> extends. My reusable straw. Yeah. Dang. And and Sky, as I slam down with the quarter staff, I want to try and use the recoil to bring my staff back up and then land on my feet. Staff in hand, just mm, nobody respects their elders these days. Okay. Mm. Sure, to, sure darn toot and we don't. Mm. You hear you hear a few claps coming from the older people in the room, but the rest are kind of just staring at you. I'm just like, still what? They're, they're staring at you like, why did you ruin the show? It was going so good. I, I'm still, I, I, I just do, I just keep dancing like nothing happened. <laughs> the, the people on top then just keep going. Yeah, the, the people who are, going. the people who are standing a bit further away start to come in more. Like they're really getting into it with you. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I, I'd like to at least somewhat, somewhat keep, keep myself. I, I know that my <clears> moves are not like the best things to dance on. But like, yeah, right. we're just we're just we're just vibing. I don't want to hurt anybody. So what's the occasional Teo female can throw doing himself throughout on me, all and I can this? do a spin around, spin him away. What person? What has Teo been doing throughout all of this? I, I think Teo's dead right now. Danny. I heard anything from Danny. Danny. Daniel. Poncho princess. You should probably. Is in your house, Tristan? Is him. he is he conscious? Is he in the bathroom? Be sure oh. his up. Did you see the ice cream he had earlier? I mean, yeah, he got over. He got some uh, cheesecake ice cream. Yeah, a waffle cone. Oh, I forgot to ask him if he ate it from the bottom. I mean, I would. 
Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it with a waffle cone. Bite out the bottom, drink it. Yeah. Have you never done that, Sky? No, because I'm normal. No, that's the actual, that's, that's the way to, to eat a waffle. Yeah. All right, well. You don't eat it from top literal... to bottom, you eat it bottom to top. It's, it's a literal funnel for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back, back on top of it. What are, what are the rest of you doing who aren't de dead? I've basically just been watching the show because it's funny. Yeah, you're kind of just sitting there. The, the barmaid's kind of just been chatting you up a bit as they're, they've been having their duel. <laughs> I frankly don't understand why I hang around these guys. We didn't force you to. You came on your own volition. Can I have a room, please? Look, I'm, yeah. I, sure. Like my old man Thank told you. me to do so, okay? So whatever. How much is it gonna be? A silver a night. I have a copper. I'm yeah. sure one of us can spot you. And you're just broke. Veronica's <laughs> really broke. He is so freaking broke. <laughs> He's like, I got no money. I spent my five gold on something and I didn't get anything back. Have no fear. <laughs> uh, while Danny may be alive, he is sleeping. So. Oh. Oh. We we now have his go. We we now have just a. Just just a cloak. So. <laughs> so <laughs> Danny in real life is actually asleep. Yeah. Right now he's actually asleep. I you, you see, you, you see Teo just kind of slunk into a corner to himself. <laughs> At least until he's back. You know what? Oh. Marina, do you have the? Do you have the thing? Yeah. Pass it. Pass it. Roll a sleight of hand. Both of us? Yeah. I'm like, do we have to do this in the open? Two cards just down here. Everybody okay. shot, 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 <laughs> shot, shot. <laughs> it doesn't look like anyone <laughs> noticed. Because everyone's really focused at the g giant dancing pool right now. <laughs> Damn. So, if if one of them spots me, can can I go to the room right now? Sure, it's fine. Thank yeah. you. Do you know we'll that tab. Tab. One, what was it? Uh, per night. A, a silver per night. A silver. Per room. You you only need to spot me like two copper, really. I'll spot you the silver. Okay, thank you. Um. So I'll I'll pay one for him and I'll pay one for me. Uh, are there, like, loose sheets of paper left in the rooms? Um, not in the rooms, but I could get you a sheet of paper. I'm sure we have some in the storage closet. Thank you. I need a Jeez. piece of paper and a quill and ink. Okay, I'll, I'll have that brought up to your room. Thank you. Please knock first. Sure. Thank you. I'm, I'm just gonna stand up, hobble up to the room. Okay. Don't uh, it's break not, a hip or anything. It's not two-story. It's more there's like a back hallway that has rooms attached to it. Mm -hmm. um, the room is small and simple. It's just got a bed. It's got a small little uh, bedside table, um, and it seems like there's uh, a window. There's a window there with a little potted ficus of sorts in it. It. it... It's basically like a standard starter, like Minecraft house. Yeah. I, I'm just going to sit in the bed and just sort of wait for the paper to show up. As you kind of sit down and uh, just get comfortable, you hear a knock on the door. Mm, thank you. Coming. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just going to stand up, head over to the door, grab the paper and all that. Yeah. Enjoy your night. You too. And sorry for the fight. 
Oh, it's fine. It happens all the time. That's the first time they've been beaten, though, so maybe it will happen less. They insult so, thanks. monks and the monastery's teaching. Well, I think they're more street urchins. They didn't. They kind of just taught themselves how to fight. That's why they have that weird way they move. Well, anyway, enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's you a desk in here, up. right? There's what? Is there a desk in here? Yeah, there's like a bedside table. It's not really a desk, but it's it's a a decently sized area. It, it, and it's like a, a it. it's like a student's desk. Yeah, essentially. Uh, um. How big is the piece of paper she brought me? Just standard piece of paper. I would like to try and copy the map that we stole onto this piece of paper. Uh, okay. Uh, hold on, I need to look at your sheet. I do not have calligrapher's tools, as I note. Okay, um, roll a dex check at disadvantage. Okay. Fuck! You create a rough outline with a, an X on, on the middle that has, or it's like on a part that says a name. Um, it, it, it's, it's like if a child took a crayon and tried to draw the United States, but kind of just got a blob. <laughs> oh, Looking so, at this. So modern art. Yeah. Looking at this, I'm just going. Mm, I'll I'll try again tomorrow. I I need to rest, and I'm just going to hide the stolen goods and this piece of paper in my shell and go to sleep. Right. Are the rest of you just gonna do your finish off what you're doing and then head to your rooms? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, did we pay for rooms? Uh, I already paid for mine and and. Vermont. Yeah, so you, uh, you, you could split a room with. Well, I, I don't think Tay would split a room. Um, so I'm you, you would each have to play a silver. Anybody. Yeah, nobody likes nobody going to split rooms. <laughs> I'll just deduct a silver off of Danny's sheet. He won't mind. I will put a silver off of mine. All right. Um, because I go back to I go to bed at like two a.m. after oh, I've like, been like you've been really partying, partying. Yeah. Partying like all night. And then uh, I... what was the place's name for this map? Uh, for the the map of the town. Uh, the map we stole. Flots. F L O T Z. And uh, what's okay. the name of the tavern? Uh, you never got it before you went to nope. before you started dancing the night away. Never heard it because we didn't ask anybody. Didn't really look. Nope. You just saw a sign with a, a beer and you came in. Okay. Right now. Very Skyrim one. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, so you're all going to bed? Yep. Alright, you all make your way to your own rooms and you you fall asleep or, or you try to fall asleep and you listen to the sounds of the ocean uh, hitting the shore and uh, you, you can smell the salt in the air and Eventually, sleep comes upon you all as we end the session for tonight. Uh, that was fun. Well done. You beat up a bunch of monks. And we stole. I didn't do nothing. And you stole, and uh, I had you a did steal. Yep. That is pretty, true. pretty rad down session with the locals. Yep. Cool. I was yeah. very tempted to like take the map and like, you know, pop into my bottle and leave it in there because like it like things that I leave in there will stay. <laughs> but then it would take a little harder, like be a little harder to get back into it. So. Yeah. Right. All right. I'm gonna stop my recording now. Yep. Unless there's anything else. Uh, that's related so. for the D and D. No, uh, there might be so. an episode next week. There might not be. We'll see yep, next we'll time see. on. The idiots play D and D. Come on, the, the unlikely. Unlikely. <laughs> the idiots play D and D. Woo! -hoo! Woo!